G'day, this is Alistair from LearnDelphi.tv and this video is about writing text drivers and we're going to investigate using WriteLin. So we're going to write a very basic uh, application to start off with. We're going to declare a variable of type text. We're going to assign that uh, to a file name. I'm going to call rewrite, which will um, create the file uh, if it doesn't exist. And in fact, it will fall over if it does exist, I think. Uh, alternatively, you can call reset on an existing file to uh, recreate or uh, basically empty it or append to um, add to the end of it. Some appalling typing there, and close, uh, close file. Uh, and in fact, and this won't actually compile because I think this is getting confused with a text property on the form or something like that. Um, it doesn't actually tell me what it is confused with, but we'll just uh, uh, prepend that with system.txt. If I was creating a console application, it would have worked just fine, I think. So we can run that now. And lo and behold, here is our text file with this is a test. So um, that is uh, pretty basic and unexciting, but this F here doesn't actually have to be a reference to a file. Uh, effectively, it, it's, it's a file handle with a bunch of other properties associated with it, and we're, we are writing this, this. So this code writes to a file, but we can write a different driver and. Um, uh, initialize it, uh, which is what we're going to do next. So I'm just going to create a new unit and then copy and paste a bunch of code. I'll throw that in the clipboard and paste that in. Let's just go use unit unit one and throw another button on, and then we'll quickly go through. Uh, what the code does in here. Basically, this is our replacement for a sign file. Um, this is kind of taken out of the, some of the Delphi help, but it takes, so it's the only sort of uh, visible thing in this unit, plus the string list, which uh, basically we're just going to use that so that we can um, interrogate it. So in assign dev, what we do is uh, it passes in a, a text record or a, a, of type text, but we cast that to a T text rec, which, uh, if I control click, um, has a whole bunch of properties on it. And we just want to set some of those up. Now, some of these probably don't need to be set initially, but so we start off closed. There is a buffer, which is actually a um, on the uh, text rec itself, and it's just um, an array of, of ANSI char. And then we have a, a pointer to that, and then we have a bunch of, bunch of functions, the first of which is open. And in this case, I'm creating a string list, and or our particular string list, um, so we can only really call this uh, function once. And it's verifies that we're doing output, otherwise it fails, which is okay, we're only wanting to test write line, uh, read, read line or read will be left to an exercise for the user. And then we have an in-out function. Now what this does is it takes our text rec as a parameter and we want to grab, so I have a, a string and I grab a copy of the buffer, so there's the um, pointer to the buffer, and we're copying from the first character of it up to uh, f.bufferpos, which is the amount of uh, text there is in the buffer. And then I'm just calling trim right, which uh, just removes the carriage return line feed off the end of the string. 
And then if the buffer was full, it's a partial line. So we uh, make a copy of that in here. Uh, and then reset the buffer position to zero and return success, which is zero. Uh, if it wasn't a partial line, uh, we just add that line to the string list and reset partial line back to, to blank. So that's the in out, and there's a flush function which uh, we're just calling dev in out again, uh, which works perfectly fine. Uh, you might have to do something a bit more sophisticated if you're doing reading and writing. And then our, our close uh, just frees our string list and returns success. So I suppose I could probably um, uh, detect whether it's nil or not in here. But anyway, so let's just copy and paste that text and show our the contents of our uh, string list and um, yeah close off the file we want to want to do this before we close the file of course because this, this sets it to null oh, and of course uh, that's no longer assign file but assign dev and we don't need the second parameter so okay now let's run it Ah, because I did not put... Okay, there we go. So, button 2, we get the show message. This is a text. Uh, this is a test. Um, and if we do three lines, you'll get three lines in our message dialog. So that's very roughly uh, how you go about writing a text driver. Uh, there is some information in the Delphi help and there's some other stuff online uh, which I, I, I used to sort of work out uh, how to get this far. The reason I, I came across it, I was working on a project uh, that uh, was using this write line, to this um, file, but it was a file that was uh, shared between threads and between processes and I thought that can't possibly work. Um, something's going, something's going wrong there. I better go and uh, investigate this and fix it. But no, in fact, it didn't need work because there was a custom text driver work that was was uh, fairly sophisticated, very very difficult to follow, but prevented bad things happening to that text file by multiple threads writing to it simultaneously. So it had some had, had some locks and things like that on it. Um, I think there's a critical section or something like that on part of it. But it also used some clever code which. Uh, locked certain parts of the file, so we would lock the end of the file and write that text and then release that lock and I think basically um, it could lock, multiple threads could write to the end of the file simultaneously and there would not, not be any problems. But anyway, I digress, this is a very rough video and I just, just wanted to demonstrate this, this capability because I was not aware of it until recently or at least I had forgotten about it. So uh, apologies for the roughness of this video but uh, I'm Alistair Christie, thanks for watching.